user knowledge are done. So today we are going to discuss about a service in AWS called SNS. So which is what we are going to discuss for the today's session. So first of all, I will tell you what is SNS and how that is going to be very important for your product. So SNS is something uh, kind of a simple uh, notification service, so which is uh, given by Amazon and you have many other notification service out there, even Google provides a notification service. But today we are going to discuss about this Amazon simple notification service. In a one word, if I want to say what is this SNS is all about, is something called push notification. So for your, any of your product, it can be a mobile app or it can be a uh, website, we need notifications to our users. We need to send notification to our user, which is very, very important. In our day-to-day -day life, you use a lot of apps like WhatsApp or Facebook. So you have, like routinely, you used to get some notification from the uh, app which you are using, right? Facebook, if some friend likes a photo, I used to get a notification. If some message comes to my WhatsApp, I will get a notification. So we have many apps in our mobile, right? But frequently used app, if you see media apps, especially media apps, Facebook, Gmail, uh, Skype or WhatsApp, why we are using that more frequently is because they are sending notification to us. If something happened in our uh, account, they are sending a notification, which makes us to uh, always use that particular app. So that is where the uh, key tricks of the developers are making us to use their product. So Amazon Simple Notification Service is one such service like uh, where you can send push notification to your users. I can say endpoints. So you can send even for a one user or multiple user and you can send various push notifications. We have SMS notification, mail notification uh, and the email notifications and many other notifications. And you can send notification to an endpoint devices like Android, iOS and even Apple devices. That's what iOS and Google devices and even Fire OS, Windows devices. So you can send the notification to many devices and you can use any programming language to build this SNS that is to integrate this in SNS with your platform that is with your product and this is highly scalable when I say highly scalable with respect to uh, uh, it supports more users and more devices as an endpoint and also it's more flexible towards uh, the messaging service and uh, this push notification supports a mobile device and even as I told you email and also SMS and other HTTP protocol service also possible even an endpoint can be an application too. And this um, kind of uh, Amazon simple notification service, just I'm going to show you a practical demo with how to send an email notification to the user. That's what we are going to see. And uh, very uh, happy news is this is so cost effective that this Amazon simple service, sorry, simple notification service is part of free tier, which you can use it actually. So if you exceed the free tier, then you have to pay. But for one year, it's free subscriptions is there in AWS for many services. One such services is this SNS. So now I'm just going to kickstart this practical part for you. So I have just click start today for free. Um, so that goes to another page. Uh, that is, uh, you will get a kind of an SNS uh, page dashboard. Okay, so we here what we are going to do is like uh, I'm going to show you that there is a various steps that which we need to do uh, for sending an, a notification to the user. The very first step is to create a topic. So what is topic? So before getting into this, uh, simply this SNS is a simple messaging queue service. When I say a messaging queue service, uh, not, not, not AWS or not Google, I'm just not speaking about them. And generally, there is something called uh, messaging queue in a traditional world. We use this word, maybe now it has been changed to push notification or notification service. In a messaging queue, we used to call the model as uh, publisher and subscriber model. This is what a push notification we used to call. Uh, if you take the publisher, uh, for example, I have a website in my website where I have a, a button called subscribe. So some user just they give their mail ID and when they click subscribe, then they got they subscribe to my site. So whenever I want to send some notification to their mail, I can use that mail ID to send the uh, notifications, right? But similarly, so this is also that is I am publishing and my subscribers are going to get the message from my uh, site that is from the publisher. So we used to call this messaging queue technologies as publisher and subscriber model. So for this, first of all, we have to create a topic. This topic is a very common concept that in all messaging queues. 
Topic is something like in your product you have various categories like health, entertainment and uh, games and many things. But the thing is, uh, you have multiple users who visit your website, but all users are not interested in all categories. So some users are in, in interested in healthcare and some uh, users are interested in games. So we need to categorize the users, that is the subscribers. And only, uh, for example, I publish some blog in health and I have to send only to that particular interested people who subscribe for that particular topic. I should not send to all the users. So that is where we have to create topic. For example, I will create topic as game. I will create topic as uh, um, uh, health and I will create topic as entertainment so uh, so I will be adding list of all mail IDs under those topics and I will just publish message to one that particular topic only only that particular category people will receive my message so first I am going to create a topic okay so I am going to create a topic as games which I am creating here and here I am just giving some name uh, like uh, games something like this I am giving a name so now I am giving create topic so once the topic is got created where you can see something called create subscription so once you create a topic you have to create a list of subscribers to your uh, site so now what I am going to do is there is a many protocol which you can see here where I am going to choose SMS or I, I can even choose application email HTTP HTTPS so I am going to choose this email so now I am going to uh, give some email ID so I am going to give my email ID cloudgautam at gmail.com now you have to create a subscription like this if you have a set of a bulk of email IDs with you you just need to add all the email address address under a topic uh, or you can what you can do is you can integrate this SNS email uh, subscription service with your web or and mobile app through some coding work and upcoming videos I will be showing you that but here imagine that I am having a set of email IDs with me where I am just adding into my topic under I am just manually I will just do create subscription like that just like that I will add all the users into the subscriptions now you can see there is bending confirmation that is uh, the endpoint mail ID which I have shared here uh, he got some confirmation mail from AWS so I am just open that mail because whenever you user when you subscribe a user the user will be get notified by Amazon saying that this particular uh, confirmation the subscription has been happened whether you are interested to enter into it or not so it's the user which just they want to subscribe or not it's up to them so now uh, there is something health tips okay the topic which uh, the subscription which I created it's still it is in health tips that's why it is coming okay games okay this is my previous chain so what I will do I will just delete it I will just delete this one uh, I just created long back which is uh, means sometime before so I will redo this again so I will just delete this I will just show you clearly I will just show you so I will delete the subscriber and I will add it one more time so uh, like okay I will delete it okay so again I will do create a subscription maybe I will refresh this page and you can see I have deleted the record won't be here yes it is not there now I'm gonna create subscription oh, still it is there one second I will just delete this delete subscription okay okay so it says after three days it will be delete automatically okay so I will create a one more subscription um, so it will be deleted after three days okay so email now I'm gonna give the same email address so create subscription okay so we created and I will just go back yeah you can see games so now the user will get a mail like this and they need to confirm it okay I'm just confirming this so once once I confirm this okay now I go back to my uh, account so I just know I'm a publisher now he is a subscriber now because he accepted my subscription right yeah see there is a bending uh, kind of uh, confirmation is uh, moved to something as subscription ID because he subscribed it right he subscribed it now imagine that you have hundreds of mail IDs like this just select all and just give publish to topic now what you have to do just give some subject uh, I'm just giving subject as games and here I'm just giving play now or I can say play or welcome okay so I just publish this message 
okay so what this will do like for example i'm having 100 uh, mail ids in this and i will just select all and if i give publish to topic so all 100 users will get a mail from me so i will go back and i will just check the inbox see i got it play welcome yeah so now my users got a notification from me that makes them to come and visit my site or visit my product or click some of my uh, videos or something like that and there is a link always that amazon will send to the user if they want to unsubscribe this they can able to do at any time because uh, because like uh, if the user is not willing to get any notification from you in future so then we need to provide some not we when i say we we are using service sns from amazon so amazon responsible is that they need to give this link unsubscribe to the user so that user should not blame amazon saying that uh, i'm getting some uh, publishers message to my mail id through amazon but i can't able to unsubscribe right that kind of uh, in uh, a name should not come a complaint should not come so amazon used to do this so if your user want to unsubscribe it they just unsubscribe it so in this video i just showed kind of a manual way of doing all these things in upcoming video surely i will show you how to integrate through coding the service with your uh, web app or mobile app i will show you but for i have one of my product which has around 300 to 400 subscribers for three topics i am having a manual i am sending my email ids through this service only i am not integrated any code or something to my web application but for demo purpose surely i will show you in my upcoming videos so stay touch with a2z knowledge.com if you really like this video please subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues we have many other videos in my channel uh, in languages like english and tamil so my channel url is youtube.com slash a2z knowledge videos and my website is a2z knowledge.com thanks for watching